Stacy, one of the naturalists at Tamarack Nature Center, part of Ramsey County Parks and Rec. We're here in the preschool backyard, and we're here to talk about a flower that's blooming a lot of places, whether you like it or not. Dandelions. So, dandelions, are they important? Are they good for anything? Actually, they are. These, job, these jobbers are one of the most important nectar and pollen sources for our pollinators out right now, because there's not a lot for them to eat. There's a lot of Creeping Charlie out, at least in my yard, but those don't have a lot of nectar in them, so the bees end up getting really tired going from flower to flower to find some pollen and nectar. So besides a good pollen and nectar source, what else are they good for? you find some dandelions in an area that's not been sprayed with anything, you can rinse off the flower heads, snip them off, dip them in a little pancake batter, fry them up in a little butter or oil, and then you can sprinkle them with some cinnamon sugar, or you can dip them in some maple syrup. I'm going to try the cinnamon sugar. Another part of the dandelion you can eat are actually those toothy long leaves. Now, you can actually go to some health food stores or co-ops and get a whole bunch of really long dandelion greens. They've got a ton of vitamins and a ton of antioxidants, and they're really good for digestion. But they're pretty bitter, so it wouldn't make a whole salad out of them, or you're gonna be puckered up the whole time. So, dandelion greens you can eat. I've heard, too, that that long tap root under the ground, you can actually roast it and make it into a tea, and that's supposed to be good for kidneys, your kidneys. You can also make some fun stuff that you don't eat. Who's ever braided together a little dandelion bracelet or a tiara? My daughter sure has. It's a lot of fun, especially once those dandelions get a little bit longer and the stems are big. Another thing really good to do right now, pound them. Anybody feel a little frustrated with all this being cooped up lately? Well, if you have a rubber mallet and dandelions and either a thin handkerchief or a pillowcase, you can do some flower pounding. Get your dandelions or your creeping charlie and lay them out. Get that thin piece of cloth, put it right over the top of it, go outside. Don't do this indoors or you're going to get give somebody a headache and you're gonna pound them. As you pound the cloth against the stems and the flower heads, those pigments or colors are gonna come out and onto the cloth. And the dandelions are so bright and vibrant and cheery this time of year. Now, there's a naturalist who was an amazing person. Her name was Kathy Heidel. She did something extra special with her duels, with her flower pounding. She would do the flower pounding, then she would take it out like this, and she would let it dry, and then she'd put it on a color copier. Color copy it on paper, and then get out a felt tip marker, and outline it, and draw flowers, and little animals, and bugs, and it was kind of a fun project. So, dandelions, you can actually do a lot with. So I wouldn't spend as much energy on getting rid of dandelions. I'd put your energy into getting rid of that buckthorn and that creeping charlie. So coming up on Friday, look ahead at 10 a.m. and you will find Shannon. We took an awesome walk through the wetland and the woods to find what's blooming and where in the world she went. So look up, look for that and take care.